Here we will discuss deltoids, serratus, pectoris minor and major. Okay, fine. So look at this figure first. What are these muscles? Okay, deltoid. So actually, this is a fan-like muscle. If you see here, this is a fan-like muscle, and this is a multi-pinnate muscle. Okay. There are three fibers, anterior, lateral, and posterior fibers. Someone is making noise. Okay. So there are three fibers, anterior fibers, lateral fiber, and posterior fibers. So anterior fiber comes from where? Lateral, lateral clavicle. Lateral clavicle. Posterior clavicle. fibers, posterior fibers come from uh, spine of the scapula. Spine of the scapula. Of the scapula. Lateral fiber comes from uh, acromion process. Acromion process. Insertion. Delta tuberosity of humerus. Humerus. Delta tuberosity of humerus. More than enough. Here, basic for our kitchen. No need to dig more. Okay. So, what are the function of the uh, deltoids? Abduction of the shoulder. Uh, abduction of arm. Shoulder. Fifteen to nine hundred degree. Fifteen to ninety. Sometimes one or two books. Fifteen to hundred. Just keep it in your mind. Fifteen to ninety or hundred. Okay. G. Okay. So, supply by axillary nerve. Axillary root nerve. value C five C six. C five C six. Monikorin. Say for example, a patient came to you. You see. See here. A patient came to you with shoulder dislocation, anterior shoulder dislocation. Ah, ah, okay. And you, yes, this is very injury. And you, what? Manipulate it, and now it's in position. But after a few hours, this guy came to you and claiming that you yourself injured his exudary now. What mistake did you done? Regimental badge is a Yes, yes, yes. Any dislocation. Sharajiban Munaragban. In emergency medicine practice, always, always, always. If there is a fracture, always distal neurovascular examination. Must, must, must. Say, for example, there is supracondylar fracture. Okay, check the radial pulse, and check the sensations here. Same, any fracture in any joint, examination should be one joint up and one joint down. Here, check this joint and this joint. Neurovascular examination, X-ray is mandatory. And cutaneous innervation is mandatory. So just a patient came to you with anterior posterior shoulder dislocation, no worries, what's the reason? Just make sure that this guy has sensation here or there. Okay. Regimental badge area. There should be what? Sensation. If there is no sensation, suspect that there is a nerve damage. Yeah. Okay. So, entry or posterior shoulder dislocation can cause a nerve damage. You see, if you see this figure, the brachial plexus, just look at here. See, is it enough? It twisted, isn't it? Around the neck of the humerus. So if there's any surgical neck fracture or anterior posterior shoulder dislocation, the nerve may be damaged. Most common dislocation, anterior posterior shoulder. Anterior shoulder. Anterior shoulder. Anterior shoulder. Most common, but most dangerous. That means injury to the axillary nerve occurs more in which type of dislocation? Posterior shoulder dislocation. Posterior dislocation. Clear. So, keep it in your mind. Okay. So, there was a dermatome. You just see. This one is supraclavicular. That means area above the clavicle. It's come from cervical plexus. These are the lateral cutaneous nerve of arm. This portion C5, C6. This is the actually regimental badge area. C5 predominant, C6 comes. This is the lateral cutaneous nerve from comes from radial. 
okay this one is the area of muscular cutaneous it goes up to thumb okay c7 is middle and c8 is so if i tell you where are you going brother so area is c8 c8 then i'm going to see it okay <laughs> this one uh this one is uh, c7 c7 okay. and this one is c6 okay so c6 c7 and q c8 isn't it so this portion this portion thoracic one it comes yeah. from medial cord up to thoracic two medial cord and this portion thoracic three four thumb um, chest that's it okay okay and for a usual okay fine so ex, uh, regarding deltoid is enough don't need to dig it more okay so insertion deltoid tuberosity so look at this muscle what's this serratus serratus anterior origin anterior upper eight to nine ribs upper Eight to eight nine ribs. That means one to nine ribs. Okay. Insertion. Some some, some books read the one to nine, one to nine or one to eight. Insertion. Scapula. Middle border of the scapula, or lower spine of the scapula. Both are correct. But middle border of the scapula is more more correct. Okay. Serratus and what's the function of serratus and gear? Pulling shoulder forward. It pulls the shoulder, shoulder forward. forward. Okay. So, mm. nerve supply? Long, long, long thoracic nerve. nerve. Root value? C5, C6, C5, C6, C7. C7. Branch of? Uh, branch of? Uh, root of brachial plexus. Root of brachial plexus. Good. Root, root of brachial plexus. Okay. So, it runs just to the surface of the muscle. A nerve tag Muscular gagheshe jai, close proximity. It, it lies very closely related with this muscle. Okay, so if there is any lateral chest trauma, that means, say for example, you fall down like this, it, like this portion, there is, is a blunt chest trauma here in that portion. Okay, blunt chest trauma, you fall down here just like this. So there will be abrasion, bruises, and there is winging of the scapula, medial winging of the scapula. So most common cause is plant chest trauma, lateral chest wall. Other causes is penetrating injury. Someone just push a knife here, okay? Or neck of the, or root of the axial injury. Other causes may be iatrogenic, most common cause. So what's the most common atrogenic cause of, of long thoracic nerve damage or nerve to thoracic uh, surface anterior damage? Chest drain. Chest drain insertion, iatrogenic cause. Chest drain insertion. Okay. So that's why we told, we tell to perform uh, chest drain in which area? In triangle, triangle of safety. Is... So what's the boundary of the triangle of safety? Mm. Medially, medially, pectoral is major lateral border. Lateral border of the pectoral is major. Lateral is major. Laterally, lateral, lateral border, border of maximus dorsi. Base, uh, base of the fifth intercostal space. Don't tell nipple line because in a lady of sixty years, his nipple line will be in the abdomen, isn't it? So don't tell mm -hmm. nipple line. I don't like it. Okay, so fifth intercostal space. Okay, so this is the triangle of safety. So we should introduce our chest drain tube in the triangle of safety, just enter to the, the mid axillary line. Just enter to the mid axillary line. That means this is the mid axillary line. Just enter to it. Mid axillary line is in front. We should pass the chest drain because the long thoracic nerve just passes behind the mid axillary line. Clear? Okay. Okay. Fine. So, very important topic, very important topic. Okay, so 
you are going to perform the chase drain. After chase drain perform, what else you should check to confirm your success? You should do a CXL. Yeah, equal guarantee or not? Excellent. Who told this one? I'm done. Who? Who told this one? Equal guarantee or not? Kable then. Abdullah Maruf. Sorry? Abdullah Maruf. Dr. Maruf, thank you very much. So, clinical, clinically, check clinically. So, what the indication of chest drain? When we perform chest drain? Pneumothorax. Excellent pneumothorax. Hydronemothorax. Massive effusion, isn't it? Even sometimes in palliative, say for example, malignant diffusion, we need to put a chest drain there or, or, or giving uh, pleuro, pleuro synthesis, that means uh, bleomycin. So lots of drugs, okay, fine. So my question is, my question is after chest drain, always perform your clinical judgment first. Say for example, this is the case of pneumothorax and in pneumothorax, what are the clinical findings in case of pneumothorax? In the affected side, will there any air, air entry? Based on diminished or absent. Based on diminished or absent, percussion uh, not. Percussion not hyper resonant. Hyper resonant. And auscultation? Oscar. Based on absent. Absent. Okay. So after chest drain, put your stetho on the chest. Yes, there will be bilateral chest air entry now, isn't it? If you are successful, isn't it? Yeah. The percussion not will be. Now resonance, not hyper resonance. So actually clinically it's so tough to perform hyper resonance, resonance. And patient's saturation will improve, blood gas will be corrected, even his breathlessness will come down, isn't it? So this one the clinical, yeah, then go for x-ray. And the main thing is the column will swing in each breath. So the air column will move, isn't it? Yes, okay. Sir. Okay. Another thing is, so what should be your advice? So, don't put the air column above upwards the above the heart level. Okay. I will put it above the heart level. Give me alternate option. So, if you put it above the heart level, always clamp that tube. To be tube ke clamp kore asmane niye jao. Mohagashe chole jao. No worries. Clear. But if you want to put the chest drain back or tube above the chest or, or, or heart level, the drain tube should be clamped. Okay. And you need sometimes milking. What do you mean by milking? Because the tube may be blocked. That's why just give a gentle squeezing tube, make the flow persistent. Here, that's it. There are other talks. I don't want to dig it more. It's more than enough for you. More than enough. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, fine. So insertion, where? Serotus interior? Scapular medial border. Scapular medial border. Fine. Now come. Pectoral is major muscle. Origin? Uh, uh, medial clavicle. clavicle clavicle medial, medial two third of the clavicle medial two third medial of the clavicle one. so this one is the medial two third of the clavicle good medial two third here then clavicular head then sternocostal uh, head medial anterolateral part of it dr maruf yes sir are you here just listen to me in emergency medicine don't go through in detail anatomy. Just keep a clean cut conception. I'm telling you, anterolateral part of the sternum. This is more than enough. Anterolateral okay. part, three fourth, two point two centimeter. No need. Okay, just keep it in my three origin. We from medial to third, anterolateral part, and this and fascia. Shesh, clear over the muscle. More than enough. Okay. So because, because this is not surgery, MRCS, even these are not 
all the question will come based on clinical scenarios. Okay, insertion. Um, bicepital group. Lateral of the... part of bicepital group. Okay, so okay. lady in between two major. This one is the humerus, think. This one is the humerus. This is the bicepital groove. This part, this part. Medial part, which muscle is inserted? Teres major. Teres major. Teres major. Lateral part? Pectoralis. Pectoralis major. Two major, isn't it? Here is the bicepital groove. Here, Insertion, the decimus, dorsi. So lady in between two major. So bicepital groove medial wall insertion ibe ke teris major. In the lateral wall of the bicepital groove, who will insert it? Pectoralis major. In the bicepital groove, who will insert it? Latissimus dorsi. So lady in between two major. Clear. Okay, fine. So insertion, okay. So what's the function of pectoralis major muscle? Uh, medial rotation of the arm. Just flexion and I have an urgent call, just a minute. Okay, fine. So now pectoralis minor muscle. Origin. My function of pectoralis major to, to Bourbon, not, please. Not so much important. Anji, thank you. For exam, okay, not so much important for exam. Okay, so what are the uh, what are the origin of pectoralis minor? Three to five ribs. Three to five ribs. Insertion. Coracoid process. What are the muscles originating from coracoid process? Short of the head of the biceps and coracobrachialis. How are you doing? Short head of the biceps, short head, uh, coracobrachialis, coracobrachialis. Uh, pectoralis minor. Good. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Pectoralis major function key hote pare. What do you think? Origin ni chekhane. Insertion is hmm? Adduction of the arm, adduction could be an abduction could be. Because yes, it's inserted in the lateral head of the bicepital group, isn't it? That means if it contracts, arm will be adducted. So, adduction, buju buju koren, flexion and Medial or lateral rotation of the arm? Which rotation? Medial rotation. Medial rotation of the arm. And pectoralis major is a climbing muscle. Climb for the help curve. That's it. Okay, fine. Okay. So regarding pectoralis minor, origin three, four, five. Some books read uh, wrote that two, three, four, but I think that three, four, five is more accurate. Insertion, coracoid process. What are the other muscles? Coracoid process. Arkiki muscle. Hello. Arkiki mm -hmm. muscle uh, originated uh, coracoid process. It is the insertion. Is. First of all, uh, biceps are short head. Short head of biceps. Short Excellent. head of biceps. Coracoid brachialis. Pectoralis minor. Pectoralis major. Minor. Minor, minor, minor. Examine. Listen, in exam, you will see lots of similar words. And your brain will tell, yeah, this is the right answer. Because our sim knows what are the potential sites of mistake. Here they will give pectoralis major. Okay. Same. Bicepital groove, in case of lateral side, they will give medial side. Insertion of pectoralis major is medial portion of bicycle you would have a bicycle group true false so you will lose your mark so a unit gulo these things should be crystal cleared 
so no confusion should be kept here clear there should be no confusion okay okay so i think uh, pectoralis reason we have completed now the triangle of safety so i have already discussed regarding triangle of, triangle of safety dr maruf do you please tell me regarding uh, a little bit regarding the triangle of safety what's the origin what's the insertion sorry what's the boundary of triangle of safety uh, entirely central border of the pectoralis major and uh, inferiorly this uh, fifth intercostal space and posteriorly anterior border of the latissimus dorsi better to tell lateral border of pectoralis major lateral border of latissimus dorsi okay both lateral borders okay, okay? Lateral border, okay. lateral border, petalis major, not minor. And this one is okay. latissimus dorsi, not serratus sentinel. Keep it in your mind. Don't be confused. This one is LD. Okay. Okay, friend. Okay. So now come muscles of the shoulder. So if I ask you a question, axillary nerve, from which cord? Posterior cord. Posterior cord. cord. Supplies which muscles? Deltoid. Deltoid and teres minor. Uh, and teres minor. minor. Area of the skin in the upper outer quadrant, regimental badge area, cutaneous supply, isn't it? Isn't it? Yes. True. Okay. Deltoid atrophy high in which palsy? In arps palsy. Arps palsy. Axillary nerve chara, except axillary nerve, which nerves come from posterior cord? Radial nerve. Radial nerve. Okay, thank you. So now muscles of the shoulder, very, very important. So this one is deltoid. We have discussed deltoid posterior fibers, so no need to discuss here deltoid. So now come trapezius. So just think that in the posterior fiber of the deltoid, but the original posterior fiber of the deltoid, spine of the scapula. Isn't it? Posterior fiber comes from spine of the scapula mostly and part of acromium. Okay. And inserted in the deltoid tubercity. What is the function of deltoid? Um, More arm than abduction. arm abduction. Up to 15 degree. Which muscle? Supraspinatus. Supraspinatus. From Supraspinatus. 15 to 90 or 100, which muscle? Deltoid. 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 Overhead abduction greater than 100? Trapezius. 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 Along, with Along with Serratus, Serratus. 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 Clear. So now we are going to discuss about these uh, posterior muscles. That means trapezius. Trapezius, you see here, this long origin. It comes from the base of the skull and cervical one to up to thoracic 12 inch spinous process. These are the origin. Inserted? Spine of the scapula. Spine of the scapula. Now, keep it in your mind. Spine of the scapula, the deltoid origin. And spine of the scapula, the trapezius insertion. Isn't it? I can pull them here, please. Spine of the scapula, deltoid originates. Isn't it? You see the figure. Spine of the scapula, posterior fiber of the deltoid originates. Isn't it? Yes, yes. But in the spine of the scapula, trapezius is inserted. Isn't it? Yes, ma'am. That's why. When deltoid fails, the action was taken, the action takes by, the responsibility is taken by trapezius. Got my point? That means up to 100 deltoid fail. Okay, 100 deltoid, over 100, when deltoid fail, trapezius start its action. Clear? Yes. Along with Cervatus yes. yes. Okay. So, what's the function of the trapezius? Elevation one is, number Rotate one is rotation. Pull the spine of the scapula. It, it, it pulls the spine of the scapula 
so medially and upwards number one are letter the most key core downwards and lateral in your downwards and lateral you see the figure here this is the trapezius it causes medial and upward isn't it medial and upward isn't it yes. and status causes lateral and downward okay lateral and downward okay this one is called spinoscapular movement okay this is caused by two muscles number one is serratus along with trapezius or trapezius along with serratus so trapezius spine ki korbe medially and upward rotated and serratus korbe ki lateral and downward okay and you see here this trapezius is supplied by which which nerve oh, the spinal accessory nerve spinal accessory origin brain stem which part of the brain stem uh, medulla 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 fine okay fine so in case of central lesion central lesion there may be failure of overhead abduction fine but in case of brachial cord lesion brachial plexus lesion Overhead abduction in Nostohobe? Sensory? No, no, because brachial patients don't supply trapezius. So that means in case of brachial patients lesion, you see my hand. If you ask the patient, would you please make your hand 90 degree? He will quite unable. Just support him and tell him now perform overhead abduction. He can perform because Trapezius is intact. Problem is in the brachial plexus. He will quite unable to perform this, this. But after that, he can perform this. You see, clear? Because trapezius is not supplied by brachial plexus. But in case of cranial nerve lesions or 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 brain stem lesions, he may perform this one. But if you ask him, no, no doubt, because there may be. Cranial nerve, accessory nerve lesion. What are the other causes of uh, what will happen if there is lesion in the uh, trapezius or cranial accessory nerve? It will cause lateral winging of scapula. So lateral winging is very uncommon. It caused by two causes. Number one is spinal accessory nerve lesion or dorsal scapular nerve palsy. That means localized palsy because dorsal scapular nerve ensures the movement of the scapula and the spinal extension of in, ensures the movement of the trapezius, isn't it? So lateral wing here causes the two two causes and the one is spinal extension of palsy, another one is dorsal scapular nerve palsy. And what are the causes of medial wing of the scapula? Two. Uh, Serratus center Long thoracic nerve palsy. Long thoracic nerve. Okay. Clear. Because what is the function of trapezius? Move the scapula upward and medially. Medially and upward. What is the yeah. function of serratus and here? Um, I don't know. Downward and lateral movement. Laterally yeah, and downward. Okay. Do you have any question? Have any question? Now, so wing of the scapula, there are two wings. Number one is medial wing and number one is that. Another one is lateral wing. Medial wing is caused by nerve of heaven lesion or nerve to serratus and your long thoracic nerve. Right. Lateral wing is caused by nerve to trapezius. Trapezius. Or accessory or Dorsal scapular nerve. Yeah, that's it. So now come big muscle, latissimus dorsi. Origin? Thoracic sacral two. Number five or sacral one. Chika say. And number two. 
Different angle of the scapula. Number three. Number number four. Number four. Number four. Number four. So there are four origin of that is the most dorsi. True false. True. There is three origin of latissimus dorsi. True or false? False. False. Latissimus dorsi origin is from Turaco cervical apparatus. True or false? False. 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 Turaco lumbar. Okay. Latissimus dorsi origin is from superior angle of the scapula. True or false? False. Origin is from thoracic seven to sacral five. True or false? True. True. Sacral false, five. False. Oh, false. Number false. 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 Yeah. false. Question should be like this. So to be doing okay. Originate from lady in between two majors. So in the bicepital groove, isn't it? Uh, insertion. Insertion. In the bicepital groove, isn't it? In between two major muscles. A, a medial key third way. Terrace major. Terrace major. Laterally. Pectoralis major. Pectoralis major. Shesh. So, I can't remember the Buzzer Kishonaito. Clear. Clear.